Hi friends, it's me Jenna with the Y Witch Parlor and I thought today would be a perfect opportunity to do a little winter solstice magic and create some winter solstice crafts. So today I want to do a winter solstice walking stick. To celebrate Yule, I like to take winter solstice walks. Um, winter solstice is the shortest day of the year and the longest night. So what I like to do is take a nice long walk, usually with my family, and observe the beautiful solstice sunset. So there's many different crafts that you can do for winter solstice like making a wreath for your head or any kind of ornaments for a yuletime tree but something that I've been wanting to do for a couple years now was make a walking stick that I can use to celebrate the winter solstice and the turning of the seasons. So today I thought it'd be an excellent opportunity to come outside while although it looks very cold outside it's actually pretty warm and if it sounds like rain that's actually all the snow melting because it's about 48 degrees outside. For me it's an excellent temperature, I love it and when I work magic I tend to get really hot because I start emitting a lot of energy so the nice cool air kind of brings me back into my space and lets me feel alive. So to make a winter solstice walking stick, it's very fun uh, craft that you can do with your family members, especially if you have kids. And so the first thing you need to do is um, gather a nice walking stick, something that you can find in a nature walk, um, preferably not something that you need to chop down. Um, I create my space today with some frankincense. It's kind of a sun herb. It works to harness the energy of the sun. So since the winter solstice has a lot to do with sun energy, we kind of bring that energy in. It's the birth of the sun as the sun does return and we're going to start getting shorter um, nights after the solstice. So. Um, the next thing you want to do is gather all these natural earthy things that will biodegrade basically. If you throw it in the forest, you know that it's going to biodegrade. It's not going to litter. Um, but you know, it's something also nice that you can keep. You can hang on a wall or use it year after year, maybe just freshen up your supplies. So also you're going to need to gather some pine. Um, you can get different kinds. You can get balsam fir, some pine. Um, so here I gathered things from a yard and my local um, nature walk reserve. So you can gather some things. And then I pre-bundled some of this stuff because I find it a little easier just for being on camera. But I got some more stuff from the local nursery. They usually have holly and other things pre-cut so you can get that there too. And I'm using some jute or hemp rope today which you can find at any um, supply uh, hobby supply store it's very affordable very cheap and it's biodegradable so it's always good to have a spool at home for all your crafts and i also have some dried orange peel today which i pre-strung on a hemp rope and i did that so i can conveniently wrap it around the stick another thing you can have our scissors obviously and you're going to need some incense and a lighter so today i'm going to use my yule incense and you're just going to need one stick any incense will do preferably pine because we're blessing it for the winter solstice um let's see oh and you're going to want or it's kind of optional but a clear quartz of some sort um, you can get a small one, a big one, but you can also use a big one and try to attach it to the top. If you want, you can use different glues, you can use ribbons if you want to make it a permanent thing, or if you want to be crafty like me and try to rig it with some string, you can do that as well. And you can always scrap it if it doesn't work and you don't want to lose your crystal, that's fine. Decorating it with the earthly elements is really all you need. So after you have all your elements gathered, all you have to do is start stringing them on. And to do that, you take your stick and you figure out what is your top and what is your bottom. So I know that this is my top and my top has a convenient little Y area where I might use to attach a crystal. And then you have your bunches of leaves and branches and you're really, really, this is very simple. <laughs> You're just going to be attaching it with your string. You're going to wrap everything around it and it's going to be nice and beautiful when you're done and the orange slices represent the sun so that will add some festive decor to your branch and again like if you have crystals, small crystals that you can adhere, maybe glue to the stick, 
you can do that too. You can even get really fancy and if you have some nice linen fabrics that you don't use like scraps you can wrap the top to make a nice handle on your stick. So you can get really in depth with this or you can get really simple. Um, it could be something that you plan to keep and hang on your wall or it could be something that you just figure you're going to use for one hike and one hike only. So yeah just get creative with it and we're going to go ahead and make our stick. friends so now that you've worked up a sweat winding and binding your solstice stick make sure everything's nice and snug it's really nice to have the branches hanging off just make sure you have it really tethered to the stick so you don't have pieces falling off everywhere you go also make sure if you attach a crystal that it's really snug on there you don't want to lose it somewhere in the forest on your winter solstice walk you'll be very sad or you can see it as a gift given to nature. So either way, make sure that there's also a place for you to actually put your hand <laughs> um, because you might get really into placing all your plants and then not have anywhere to actually grab onto. So leave kind of an empty space, at least, I don't know, six, seven inches up at the top. And then to complete your walking stick, you're going to bless it. And this is where you can call in using your incense. Now this could be a two-person thing if you need help, but basically I like to write a winter solstice poem, blessing, or mantra. Um, I tend to do this with all the seasons, and so you can write something, you can sing it as a song, you can say it as a mantra or a prayer, but basically you wrap the incense stick around your stick as you bless it. So you say your mantra, your prayer, or your blessing, and that is how you bless your winter solstice walking stick. Sit with it in meditation, let your incense burn down, and enjoy your new winter solstice walking stick. I hope you enjoy this video. I'll see you again on the next one. Love you so much. Bye. Happy winter solstice.